My name is Sally Matstone. I'm the Principal and Vice-Chancellor of the University of St Andrews. Over the past 20 years, the University of St Andrews, Conoco Phillips, and our fabulous entrance for the prize have really established a kind of ecosystem itself, bringing together the work that the university does on the environment, bringing together the work that Conoco Phillips does, and bringing together the extraordinary contributions to changing how we think about and engage with the environment and the developing world on the part of our uh, prize entrance. This year we had an astonishingly strong set of entrants and it really was difficult to make the decision but at the same time incredibly enjoyable to work with the finalists and to experience their sense of engagement in their projects. This year our three finalists really all exhibited a very strong sense of engagement with their communities in Malaysia, in the Philippines and in Peru in the Andes and we were very struck by that sense of community engagement and really thought that it was a particular theme in the prize this year and something that we all really need to focus on and value. So we had three really impressive entrants and it was difficult to separate them because they were so impressive and also so varied. We had a fantastic project looking at tur turtle excluder devices in Malaysia and looking at ways in which a relationship could be brokered between hotels and fishing communities so as to incentivize the use of TEDs, as they're called, and therefore to reduce the, the terrible mortality amongst sea turtles in the Philippines. And this is very much a, a project that is scalable and extendable to other places. We were very impressed by it. We thought that Nick Pilcher did a wonderful job in expressing it to us, but ultimately it was just finally pipped at the post by the eventual winner. But it was a very, very impressive project. The second finalist, again equally impressive in a different way, was Networks, which seeks to align, particularly with reference to the, the Philippines, a set of propositions, how to reduce the terrible engagement with plastic that so many of us have in the world, how to produce an alternative uh, form of economy for those who depend so much on fishing production by looking at seaweed farming, and how to engage communities through the use of community banks. The alignment of all these projects together was, was very compellingly uh, presented to us. And again, we gave a lot of consideration to this project, but just finally felt that it was pipped at the post by our winning uh, project, which exhibited a wonderful breadth of imagination and engagement. The Mountain Institute is looking at water security and water conservation, and it's doing this by engaging with indigenous communities across the Andes in Peru. And it's doing something absolutely fascinating, which is seeking to connect the past with the future. So it's looking at the ways in which indigenous communities in the past, going back 700 years or so, have engaged with water security. And it's looking at ways in which what we learn from that can be taken into a new hybrid way of engaging modern communities and really focusing on water security and all the things that, that follow from that. We really like the engagement, we like the sense of respect and understanding and inclusion in this project and we thought that it strongly deserved our, our support and that also we would be giving this at what for the project is a very timely moment in its evolution. So once again, we've been absolutely delighted by the entrance for the St. Andrews Prize for the Environment. All of the trustees have really found this a genuinely enriching experience. And we look forward to seeing how the Mountain Institute takes forward the prize and develops it over the next year.